Hello and welcome to another video on how to create a multiplayer game like Clash of Clans. So if you remember in the previous videos I introduced a free package on the asset store that contained a bunch of low poly trees and assets like that but I've deleted that and decided to use another package. Here's the one low poly simple nature pack. So I'm going to be using this so I've deleted that package and imported this one as you can see it's here in my packages folder. And now let me just delete the map I'm gonna create it again so before we do that I need to fix a bunch of bugs in our code first of all let's go to the camera controller and here in the adjust bounds I'm changing the zoom value to the world value but I need to convert it to the screen value it's easy to fix we can just say float n equals to And then we just say zoom equals to n multiplied by. And we're going to do the same thing for our left and right limits. Let me just remove this aspect here. And this is it. It's simply going to fix our problem. Another problem is, let's go here in the get autographic size of our plane. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but instead of sinus, I have wrote sign. So this is the wrong thing. We need to say sinus. And the same thing here down there. Instead of sign, I need to say sinus. That's just a mistake I made typing it wrong. So that's it for now. Let's go back to the editor. And I'm just gonna create our map let's just reset this and I'm just gonna create another game object name it layout one because I want to have multiple layouts but it doesn't matter if you just want to create one layout that's good and here I'm gonna create a quad this is gonna be my ground base and that's it I also need to rotate it on X 90 degrees to make it horizontal and I'm gonna scale it let's say 200 at 200 so this is big enough and I'm just gonna create a folder name it textures and here and I've already created this image that I'm gonna be using uh, it's just a simple grass tile it's not perfect but it's something it's 200 by 200 which means every single one of these squares are 100 in 100 okay so this is 100 at 100 so combined together it's 200 at 200 so let me close this and I'm just gonna drag this to my textures folder and I'm gonna grab this and drag it on my ground so it's automatically is going to generate a material uh, if you can see it here it is I'm just gonna remove the collider and let's expand this material as you can see there is some value here called tiling we can just say 200 at 200 so that's gonna tile the ground for us and let me just create a cube for test and let's go to the cube as you can see I think we should put the number 100 for the tiling because the scale of our ground is 200 and this is also 200 so let's see how it is So I think yeah it's good enough it's gonna it's actually perfect as you know the cube represents one unit in the world and as you can see our tiles have been split to one unit parts so let's just delete that and here it is this is our ground and again only for demonstration purpose I will create another quad and say 90 degrees on X 45 degrees on Y and let's just say 45 in 45 
this is gonna be our building area this is the area we can build on it let me say 0 0.01 and this is it of course I'm gonna delete this later but this is just for me to know which areas I'm allowed to place trees and that's it after that after I placed my trees and I've placed everything I needed then I'm just gonna delete that but let's just leave it for now let's also give it a color I'm also going to just create empty game object let's just name it forest and I'm just gonna put my trees in this forest folder let's check out the package see what kind of trees it has three number two number three oh let me see how they look this one is looking pretty good so let me drag it in the forest so yeah we can basically just drag this around and place it wherever we want let me just multiply it So let's play this and see which part we can see in the camera. So there is not much to see. Let's actually change a couple of variables. Let's go to our initialize. I'm just gonna put all of this on 40. And let's say this one is the and for some reason i think i changed these values let's actually change them back to the correct values um the default zoom i'm gonna put it at five uh, let's actually put it on 10 and let's say the minimum amount of zoom is five and the maximum let's put it on 20 for now and let's go and also ch change our distance this is actually very important uh, here in the initialize we set the camera distance from the plane to minus 10 this is too little let's actually make it 100 and I'm gonna save that and uh, let's play as you can see we have this it's actually looking pretty good so this side I need to clear the trees actually so yeah let me just remove those so here we go i actually paused the video and placed the rest of the trees so now i can just disable this quad and let me save my scene let's play and see how this looks well as you can see it doesn't look pretty bad of course i'm no artist so you can definitely do a lot better than i did and you can do it with your own assets or you can purge more professional assets it's up to you but i'm not gonna change this this is good enough for this tutorial so let me close this also i don't need the sky box because we're not gonna be showing any kind of sky so and as you can see let me just disable this and play the game so if I show the stats here you'll see that the numbers are a little bit high because it's an empty scene they, they shouldn't be a 1.k or 5k vertex so to fix that and gain a little performance I'll just gonna go to the environment and just set the sky box to none so if we play it now you'll see that number change to two and four so that's a little bit performance there it doesn't matter you don't have to do that it's just a tip i also could go to my ground base here and say cast shadows to off and later on i could merge all these meshes together that's also gonna increase performance but as I said, it's up to you how you're gonna set up your scene. I don't get into that. It's up to you. So let's create another script. I'm just gonna name it build grid. 
and let's go to our map layout and let me just create an empty game object and name it grid and let's bring it up here I'll just attach this build grid and let's open this up as always I'm just gonna add my name space I'll just copy it from here And that's it this is gonna be my grid so for the grid we need a bunch of variables like how many rows it has and how many columns it has also what is the cell size of this grid so let me define those And for the better visualization, I'm just gonna draw a bunch of gizmos in my undraw gizmos. And I'm just gonna say execute this only in the editor. So here I'm just gonna loop through the rows and let me copy this. Also, let's loop through our columns. Columns. So I'm just gonna copy this for columns as well and just change a bunch of properties like this is going to be right and this is going to be forward and this one here are going to be rows so let's check this out to see how this works and as you can see this is our grid I'm just gonna rotate it 45 degrees in this direction and let me go to the top view and just adjust the position of this grid so this is enough for this video hopefully in the next videos we're gonna do more so please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching